And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Xana Bazaar, which was a request from Elrex and Pitcher via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Xana Bazaar was a troodontid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Mongolia, the Nemec Formation. It looked similar to Troodon or Trudon. The paleo art shows large claws, a long tail, an S-curved neck, and it's feathered. It's one of the largest troodontids, and it's the largest known Asian troodontid. It's estimated to grow up to 7.5 feet or 2.3 meters long and weigh 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> you could say that about almost any dinosaur. It would be scary in real life, but that does sound kind of comically small for a predator. <laughs> The skull was about 10.7 inches or 27 centimeters long. It had a large brain compared to its body size. The fossils were first found in 1964 as part of the first joint Mongolian-Soviet paleontological expedition. Originally, it was named as a new species of Sorornithoides, Sorornithoides Jr., by Barsbold in 1974. The type species, since this was a new species of Sorornithoides, the type species of Sorornithoides is Sorornithoides mongoliensis. But then in 2009, Sorornithoides Jr. was reclassified as Santa Bazaar Jr. by Mark Norell and others. It's a good name. It is. I like saying Santa Bazaar a lot better than Sorornithoides. It is a little bit easier to say, yeah. A little marble mouthy there. <laughs> now, Zana Bazaar was the first spiritual head of Tibetan Buddhism in Outer Mongolia, who lived between 1635 to 1723. Cool. Now, Henry Osborne named Sorornithoides mongoliensis in 1924. That's based on a skull and fragments of the body. At the time, Troodon formosus was known only from teeth and not recognized as a theropod, so Osborne compared Sornithoides with Velociraptor and suggested, quote, it may prove to have avian relationships. <laughs> and so it did. Yes. Now, Xanabazar was referred to Sornithoides because of similarities. Sornithoides was the only other well-known troodontid with the skull at the time, and both were from the late Cretaceous of Central Asia. But more troodontid specimens have been described in the 1980s to early 2000s, and that's why Xanabazar got re-examined. The holotype includes a nearly complete skull and brain case, some tail vertebrae, and right hind limb. The holotype vertebrae are completely fused, so it was probably an adult. Norrell and others did CT scans and found enough differences between Sornithoides Jr., now Xanabazar, and Sornithoides mongoliensis, and... Noron others acknowledged, yes, this is only based on two specimens, but both holotypes are adults. So, safe to say the differences mean something. Xanabazar is larger than Sornithoides. The skull, again, is 10.7 inches long, 272 millimeters, and Sornithoides' skull is 7.4 inches or 189 millimeters long. Xanabazar has more teeth than Sornithoides. 118 teeth compared to 108. <laughs> That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> yeah. uh, the brain case also looks slightly different, and then there's other details. It's got a lot of similarities with Sornithoides, but that could be because the similarities are plesiomorphic. They're ancestral characters, and they share them with other troodontids, including Troodon formosus. Two other troodontids have been described that were found in the Nemet Formation. Borogovia, which is known from a partial hind limb, and Tochasaurus, which is known from some foot bones. But with Xanabazar, we don't have these same hind limb and foot bones preserved, so you can't compare them and know if these dinosaurs are synonymous or if they still are different genera. Yeah, so they might get lumped in the future, some of them. If they find more fossils. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include Tyrannosaurs, Ankylosaurs, Alvarosaurs, Dromaeosaurs, Hadrosaurs, Ornithomimosaurs, Pachycephalosaurs, Sauropods, and Therizinosaurs. And other animals that were also around at the same time and place include amphibians, crocodilomorphs, fish, mammals, pterosaurs, and turtles. Turtles seem to come up every time. Yeah. Well, there was a lot in the Nemec formation, too. There's yes. a happen in place. Oh, yeah. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino. 
or click the link on the left.